hello friends this is Moen again and welcome to my next video tutorial of ETAPS 2016 video tutorial series in this particular video I am going to show you how to assign beam and slab in this model so before we go from here at the lower right corner select this is as one story and from here go to plan then select this is story one then apply ok so we are now in study one if i go to here in elevation and if i go to any elevation then i can see this is my foundation level and this is the study one means this is my plain beam level so i can change this by going to here edit then edit study and grid data now click here modify show study data and change this to say gb and this one my first first floor level and okay okay so you can say this is gb so go to here now plan select the gb apply ok and now to draw beam in the plan you can go to here draw then draw beam oblique column and you can keep this first icon draw beam column here and from here and select here the beam size i have gb 12 by 18 close this box and now try to draw beam from column to column first click this column then click this column you can see the beam has been drawn and the command is continue so if you click the next column the beam is drawing continuously then the next column click if you right click then in the uh, continuation exit but the command is, is still working if you click this point again and you, you, you can click the next point and also next point then next point so until you click esc the command will be act i have pressed esc so command has gone if i want to draw then i can also take the command from here this and i can keep drawing so draw this point and this point and this point also this point and this point click this point then right click and I have also beam this point to this point this point right click then draw from this point to this point and this point right click also I have from this point to this point right click and also from this column to this column and will continue this column so you can see my gb drawing is done you can see here the gb level plan so we have finished our great beam uh, drawing then i have to go to here plan then first floor level ok and here i have to draw the beam again so take this command again from here then select b 10 by 20 close this and the same way you have to draw by clicking on is column point and also there is a quick way of drawing beam you can take the second command quick draw beam and take the beam 10 by 20 and if you click on is beam between these two grid then it will be drawn but you can see here a preview of dash line where the beam is going to draw but it will draw from draw between grids so I have grid C and D if I click here then it will draw grid to grid but it will not draw a column to column so I cannot assign this property here but if I want to draw from here I can do this way this way this way also here here not here I can do here here also here here I have to draw individually I can draw here and also here okay now press esc then go to here this command again and draw this to be manually this click this two point right click also i have to draw a beam from this point to this column and from this column to and check if you have any other beam else so i have this beam else i can use this quick draw command from here for to draw this beam so the beam has been drawn so if i want to check if the beam has been drawn properly then i can go to here this symbol set view option and from here special effect 
check this last two option extrude frames extrude shells apply okay you can see the beam drawing has been done but we have to draw these two beams also so click here this icon then the same way draw this beam and this beam so the beam drawing has been done but if you go to the floor beam layout you can see the beam is off from this grid 3 is 4 feet 2 so i can move this beam by selecting uh, or i can copy this beam so select this beam then go to edit and you can see here move join and i want to move this beam to 4.16 feet along y direction then apply okay you can see the beam has been moved to 4 feet 2 inch from this grid so my this beam drawing has been done now try to draw this floor slab so if you want to draw this floor slab you have to go to here draw then you can see here draw floor oblique wall object then keep this first option draw floor wall plan elevation 3d and from this list take this s5 close and to draw slab you have to pick multiple points so if i want to draw slab in this panel then i have to click here this point first then this point then the next point is this and the this point so i have picked four point right click you can see here the slab has been drawn here and there is also another way of drawing slab quickly you can keep this third option quick draw floor slab take this one and select here as five now if you click here you can see here a preview of dash line where the slab is going to draw if you click here the slab has drawn quickly by one click so you can click here 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 when the preview is showing then here also i ha i will draw here s9 so i can draw this way but it is drawing from uh, between the grids if you have multiple grid then you have to draw that manually so take this first option and i have to draw here so pick this point and in case of this inclined surface you have to take midpoint then this point take a approximate midpoint then this point this point and right click you can see the slab has been drawn the same way you have to click here the intersection point then click this approximate midpoint this point also click here then this point and this point and just click this point right click so you can see the slab drawing has done now go to this command again and change this slab thickness to s9 i want to draw s9 here so i can keep this option also i can keep this quick draw option so this point this point this point and this point right click you can see the color of these two thickness slab is defined so though we have not changed the color but by default the uh, ETFs program changes colors of various thickness or various size of member and uh, next i have a, a veranda here which is three feet so i have to draw a veranda here if i want to draw select this beam and this beam then go to edit and you can use this replicate command also copy command so copy replicate command use this linear and i have this uh, in y direction is minus three feet apply okay. now click here drop and also draw join this two line right click join this two line right click join these two line right click and also join this two line right click so we have this beam here but we don't want this to be a uh, beam but first i am going to draw slab here go to here then take the slab s5 close pick this four point to draw slab here right click and this point this point this point and this point right click and i don't want this beam to be and uh, this external line to be beam i want this should be a null line so select this beam you can select this way or also you can select individually then go to here assign frame section property right in here 
select none then apply okay you can see there is only now a line so that the none line is a line like a beam but there is no properties you can assign load here so to assign load we have to draw this type of none line so this way you can assign beam and slab in your plan so um, our beam and slab drawing is done and we have not assign here stair because we don't want to assign stair and i will show you in later on any video how to uh, draw stair in your, in your model but in this model i'm just assigning this as a slab but in any next model i will show you how to uh, do stair and analysis in it so thanks for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe my channel to get updated see you in the next video